Call the meeting to order at six o'clock. First on the agenda, Dan, are there any changes or additions? Uh, no, I mean, there's some additional things that we got in this bill for something to cover. Yeah. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Next, approve minutes. Approve the minutes of July 20th, 2020. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is passed. Next, community concerns. Uh, roadside mowing on Cody Hill. Is there somebody here to speak to that, Edward? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Ah. Both of you know me, but uh, when I was asked to come down to the Within the 
the highway right away, but you still want to be sensitive to the people that own the land and even things like apple trees like that that get cut sometimes. Um, <clears throat> we also care, you know, about our equipment and things like that. That's a different issue. Breaking mirrors off or damaging our equipment, we have to clear the, the way. But when you're talking about something that you had, it sounds like it was more of a an informational thing that wasn't passed down to the operator. And it's unfortunate. I'm sorry about that. But it seems like if we put something down on paper and had some more constructions that went with it, you know. Uh, right. That's a great way to put it, tribal knowledge. And those are things like Ed said, you know, if something happened to you, you were gone, they don't get passed on. I know, you know there was probably a lot of things from your predecessor that didn't get passed on. And um, you got to hit the ground running and learn them, but it's an unfortunate way to learn them having it happen in, in hindsight, you know. Uh, I don't know if what, you guys have any ideas on that too. Or... The hell I can do as soon as you can for education. Um, is there any way, is there, do you have a map of the way to park down, down the garage? Is there any way of making an overlay of that so you can mark on, on an overlay map for mowing, just label it roadside mowing, and on that section of Cody Hill, a red line along that road? That's not to be mowed, it's just a visual indicator that whoever you're going up to mowing can look at that overlay and see, okay, I'm on Cody overlay. Oops, okay, I don't mow this stretch right through here. It's something to be added to or to take away from over the years, but it's something you can always put up there for whoever's going to be assigned to mow. It can take a little work on the front end, but it'd be that hard to keep it up. Right. Uh, that, might, that might work as far as that goes. Yeah, yeah I wanna, I'm, if I can just throw two cents in, I'm a liaison with the highway department. I can say it. Um, we've had a long year. Um, Kevin has come up against some stuff as a first time employee for him that uh, other folks in the entire career and have to deal with. But uh, I, I want to tell you how much I appreciate the way you've handled this because you're one of the very few people who started off with a formal conversation, bring up a problem. With, to you without the tone going high. All I've heard since the beginning was that he was a gentleman, he issued our attention, he let talk to the board about it. I just I want to apologize to you at the board, but uh, this happened, and I'm glad that you're here right here. I'm glad that you did it the way you did it because it's a lot easier for me to listen completely to what you had to say. And, and that when I know that my highway department was given me respect right from the get go, um, he's not. Oftentimes heard that this last year, so thank you very much. We'll definitely put something down. We'll have a procedure, instructions, or an overlay or something. To make sure, you know, that information gets passed on, and a different operator will make sure that happens. Does that sound good? okay, Kevin? Sure. I, uh, for Hi. So I. This is Jim Levinsky. So I, I joined the meeting on your go to meeting. I don't know if you can see me. I can't I can't see anybody there. We can hear you. We can't see you. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Welcome. So, thanks. So Did I you was have a comment the, about our community concerns issue? No, I was here for the BCVP hearing. Right. Right. We're we're gonna be with you in just a minute. Oh, okay. Could we, could we get back to Ed and let him know what we put in place? That's not a problem, for sure. But like Eric says, I, I want to echo that. Thanks for being reasonable about it and bringing it to our attention because we don't know. And quite frankly, the operator thought he was doing his job probably, and he didn't know. But thanks for being good about he's it. He's just mowing. He had all year, <laughs> unfortunately. Thanks for coming in tonight. Thank you very much. Do we have any more community concerns? <clears throat> All right, we'll do the VCDP hearing. Jim, you're on. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So um, we um, had applied for VCDP money for the um, project that we're doing on Hutchins Street, uh, but the um, 
because of the time that's lapsed, um, mostly because of the COVID stuff, we have to update everything. So we have to have a new um, public hearing just to uh, listen to any concerns or comments. And um, we have to have the board update your resolution. You signed a resolution um, initially, and we just need you to we just need to update everything. Um, we're still moving ahead with the project. Um, just slowed down because of everything that happened this spring, primarily. Did I hear the target date for the financing is November first? Is that correct? Um, yeah, we have several benchmarks that we're trying to hit. Um, the November 1st deadline, I think, is our Act 250 permit. Uh, so we've been holding off on that in case um, by some chance the downtown designation came back. And um, then we have to apply for VCDP, and we also have to apply for tax credits again, which is uh, in February. Okay. Uh, our, hope, our hope is to have a, maybe a, a early summer start, which would be kind of novel for us. Usually, for some reason, the way the funding works, we end up starting things in, uh, in sept September and October. Uh, which is not, as you know, the best way to do things. Right. Yeah, it certainly would be very optimistic to have our downtown designation back that early. But mm -hmm. we're uh, going forward with the application. Do it. Yeah, I heard that. Congratulations. Thank you for, you know, anything we can, we can do to help, certainly let us know. Yeah. Is there any questions from anybody here? We need a motion to re up or something. Yeah, I think it's important to keep the one thing that we're supposed to be doing here is that that's specifically asked for the common process process. Right. So yeah, that's I what I did. Uh, so this counts as the hearing that Jim was talking about? Yeah. This is a legal hearing. Okay. So is there any public comment about it? We don't, we don't have any public comment, Jim. Okay. But we understand we just needed to cross our T's and dot our I's. Yeah, so I think you might have to actually open a hearing and close the hearing and um, somewhere in between there just um, renew the res the, uh, um, yeah. the board resolution and you guys can sign that and have it sent back. Yeah, I believe I did open the BC, BC hearing. Perfect, you did. Okay, well, we'll we'll keep right on moving. And if, if you need any further updates or anything that we can do, um, let, let me know for sure. I will, yes. And I've been in touch with Dave Ford also. Oh, good. But thank you for your time. You bet, thank you for your time. You guys yeah. do a good job, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, talk to you soon. Yep. Bye bye. Bye bye. So you gonna close there, or are we gonna do a motion on this one? Two motion first, right? Yes, please. I made a motion that we uh, we sign uh, the resolution for the BCDP grant application authority. Uh, do we want to have one person sign? It's the whole board. Okay. So the motion is just simply to, to uh, reapply. Thank you. I have a motion and a second. For any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is passed. Is there any other comment about BCDP hearing? We will now close the hearing. Second. I do. All right, we move on to liquor control. Yeah. Do I hear a motion? I make a motion for liquor control. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We are now in liquor control. It's a new applicant, right? Lost Nation? Lost Nation. Third, third class. Yes. Oh, this must be a renewal. 
Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so no, they have not had a third class uh, license before, I don't believe. I think they just had beer and wine. Sarah, this says, I thought you said earlier, third this class. Blocker. No, Lost Nation. Oh, okay. So to clarify, third class is, is it liquor? Yes. That's what I thought. Richard, is there any issues with that? Make a motion to approve the uh, third class license for all station Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? That's, that's not for alcohol consumption? No, it's just serving. Well, they're underneath the cover for the food <clears throat> tables right there. Is that considered outside consumption or they're undercover? Or not? Well, that's a separate thing. Yeah, it probably is. It's all part yeah. of it. Yeah, the, they already have outside consumption, so that would be for both their first class and if you approve this third class. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? So passed. Take a motion to come out of liquor control. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? We are now out of liquor control. We'll move to new business. Number one, discuss the downtown designation application. Do you want to start us up, Tricia? Sure. Okay. So I spoke to David Vermont, Gary Holloway, who I know well, you know, at Southern Support, and then Bertrand, uh, had a long discussion with him. Uh, I had the application in hand. We started walking through it. I started this first set of information, notifying local uh, regional planning commission, LNDC. There's just things that you have to put out. The next step will be putting the paper uh, once I have something from you saying, right. I need mean, it from you to- Authorizing that stuff. Right, authorizing the town to apply for this designated downtown status yep. in the state of Vermont. Then we'll put it into the paper and then it goes through. Honestly, I heard Jim Lovinsky like February. You're talking a year out. Right. Everyone. I mean, I just had a long discussion. I was on the phone for at least an hour with Gary Holloway from yeah. the state. There, there is so much to this whole application. If anyone wants to see it, I'd be more than glad to share it with you. You know, you have to go all the way through ANR and wastewater, and, you know, there's just a lot, a lot of touch up. A lot of it we have already done before, but you still are starting from <coughs> starting, right. I mean, it's not like I don't have the information on how to get the information, but we are starting from zero with it. Yeah. The one part we are not probably starting from zero is we are thinking we are going to keep our boundaries the same as they were before. If you're interested in seeing them, I do have a couple of maps here to get you in. Yeah. It runs up past uh, it includes the Peebles Academy, it runs out to the Truckle Roof, <coughs> on Bridge Street, it includes the Oxbow Park, it runs just down below the police station down there, it runs out to Union Street, cuts back a little bit, it includes like the fire station that cuts back across. Um, so it's I the same. Map is, is, yeah. Right, once we looked at it, I felt <coughs> like it's going to be a smoother run, they've already approved us to do it in that location right there. They may come back. I mean, it may be a whole new thing once they start dealing with uh, the downtown board. But we didn't have a reason to change it. There wasn't enough reason for it to make a change. I didn't feel. I mean, yeah, you my about about it. And said, you know, unless they come back and say, I think previously there was some discussion about it was large. It was. And they may make a chopper school out. <laughs> That's a pretty good area up there. I don't know how the school ever got into it to start with. But the whole school, not the elementary, but people. I think it's because of the historical nature of the school. Um, so, and they, are, so they may come back and look at it and go, yeah, we don't want to do that this time. But we felt like we already have the boundaries been approved once. And do it. If, if they make those changes, then we'll change it. It's, it's a good 
start in file four. Okay. All right. Any other comments with it? And we, we do know, we all know it takes a long time, but we're trying to get the ball rolling again. Mm -hmm. I will hold this particularly by the way I uh to be honest with you that one of the next parts after we go through and put in the paper and notify everyone in the community. Um I just I just left a Mac board meeting, Mac or downtown organization. We talked about it briefly, we had just a lot on our agenda, but I said everyone just so you all know too, Mac plays a very big role in this downtown. We must have that organization. They must have four different components, you must have committees, you know. So we're going to, to play with our organization there like we did in the past. I mean, we still have the same members, but you need to regroup a little bit. That's what I told them. I mean, just to right. have I will stay the fire. The state understands this too. You know, we're a little town. You, you can't have 42 volunteers on this one map board. You know, right. the way they spell it out, it really does look like uh, you should have a lot, a lot of people involved in it. We will have a lot of people involved in the whole application process, though, because we will do some public hearings about it. We will have some, uh, probably not public hearings because of the situation, but there will be a lot of notification out to our general public about what we're doing here. Um, and we will definitely stay in touch with our community. You know, and then you'll get support letters from all different people. And, you know, we just want to all those see it. So it, it, it's not going to happen within Jim Levinsky's timeline. And I just right. might as well be right out on it. If, if they have this discussion again, you might as well tell them there's no possible way by February we are going to have designated downtown. Well, I town plan update. Yeah. I pretty much did. I, when I'm talking to David Ford, he knows the timeline, but he also said maybe they don't have to have us have it as long as we got the ball rolling and uh, some some part of the process going. We'll see. We can only do what we can do. Exactly. And he knows that too. Okay. So, do you want to make a motion regarding that? Sure. Uh, make a motion that we authorize Trish Pollock, the Community Development Coordinator, to apply for our downtown designation to the state of the Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Thanks for doing this again, Trish. Thank you. All in favor say aye. All right, aye. Any opposed? Motion's passed. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you. Do you ever want to know anything about it? Don't hesitate. I will. I, I actually want to, I'd like to see everything you have to do. I'm going to follow up with you. I know. I just want to be in the know. Yep. No problem. Any time. Okay. Bye. All right, next. Sale of Vermont peanut butter equipment. <laughs> I've been out there with a comment last year. Yeah. She was out there. And there's probably more stuff than I thought, but the majority of it, quite honestly, is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've seen it. There, there's just boxes of stuff out there that I really don't know. There's some stuff that have value actually just racking in here that, that are probably good for the garage. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I've um, talked to Kevin about it already, and I'll let staff know. I'll let staff know. There's some desks, there's some, there's some, there's some Stuff out there. A large part of the community is all about. So I'm trying to bring this contract. You can reach out to all his contacts, and that's why there's more stuff being added on these holes. So if anybody wants any of it, and then once we get into September, October, when the highway just slows down a little bit, we're just going to go clean it up, get rid of the rest of it. I mean, there's probably four pallets of cardboard boxes. Right. That all say from my people that nobody may use them. Somebody wants to use them right now. But, and, and there's, there's boxes of stuff that some of this is for personal stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but if it, nobody wants it by that point in time frame, then we're going to all uh, recycle it. Yeah, yeah recycle it. I mean, you have the cardboard can be recycled or something yeah. like that. But um, we'll, we'll get it cleaned out from um, this fall for the winter. Mm -hmm. and, 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 Contract like that's great. That's really why you can just reach out to everybody. If you want anything, get it. Some stuff that I think people have bought that they haven't moved yet. Get it out, or else it's gone. So, yeah. Kind of keep that some of this stuff. So, do we want to uh, make motions on some of the stuff that we've, we've got? You have the list, sir. Uh, same with you have. Do them separately. Do them separately or do them all. It's up to you. 
It's Dan Bordeaux. All right. Is it all wrong with your comment? Uh, there's Mark Sturman is buying some of the boxes. Dan Bordeaux is buying $50 for two, those two items. And, uh, yeah. Back. And then Conrad. We don't see all this paperwork, but we make a motion and renew it. It's uh, it's good to have all this all this stuff, but I don't have any questions. Any questions from 
And yes, we do this every year. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. We just usually do it without. We see the top page, and it's usually around. We see that. Thank you for providing everything. Do I hear a motion regarding this? I make a motion that we uh, approve or accept. What do we do? Approve? Yep, yeah, we approve the BMS license renewal application. And authorize Bob to sign it. Sorry? And authorize Bob to sign it. It has to be made on the list because it has to be Authorize Bill to sign it. Second. End of the second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Thank you. Thanks, Bill. Number four, approved loan for the sweeper. Is that Sarah? Good, good rate. I want to get all my loans at 1.65%. That's pretty good. But I put it out to three people, but only got two bids back. Yeah, I see that. That's still good enough, I think. Yeah, it's a good rate. Nothing back from the community. No. Okay, do I hear a motion regarding this? Make a motion to approve Union Bank for the loan for the sweeper. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Sarah's going to try to take work back to bank for your sweepers yeah. this week because they've actually already sweeped them. Okay. Yeah. So we want to pay them. Yep. That's, that's a good idea. Jill, go ahead here. Hello? Hello? Yes. Um, so the bids are so close, and I just wanted you to know that the second bid is not just a generic electrician. Um, you know, St Steve did a lot of care and carefully went through the building, but the other bid is from um, an, elect an electrical outlet out of Danville that was recommended by the state of Vermont, by the state architectural historian, as well as the state director of preservation, who said that CFW was great on all levels when they worked on the Justin Morrill Historic House down in South Stratford, as well as the Marsh Billings Rockefeller property, which is now um, a national park in Woodstock, Vermont. And they, CFW out of Danville, are the um, gold standard for Vermont electric. Okay. That's good to know. Do you think it's worth $2,000 more? $1,900 more? $100 within the suite estimate. Um, and that they don't need to outsource any work they do on the historic baseboards uh, means that I think it's really pretty much a wash. Um, and, um, you know, I was there for, for both estimates and 
Um, and then we had some other people walk through who didn't ultimately submit bids. But if you had been there when CFW arrived, it was like the waters parted and it, there was just this, you, you, this thought of, oh, okay, the historic electricians are in the building now. It was just the way he walked through, the way his mind was rapid firing, the way he was seeing problems, the way he was kind of brainstorming and articulating how to safeguard the historic integrity of the building was just a sight to behold. If you compared it to some of the people who didn't ultimately submit bids, it was impressive as heck. And I just thought to myself, wow, this guy knows what he's talking about. Um, so I would just like to have a little bit of a discussion before we we just you know, go with the, the lower bid rather than considering that, you know, the, all the guys at the state, and they also sent me feedback from somebody out of Washington, D.C., who's a preservation technician, about particularly about the noise house. And everybody to a person said, you need somebody with experience, and you definitely don't want somebody who's going to be in a hurry. And I'm not at all suggesting that Sweet Electric would be in a hurry. It's just that CFW um, has the has the, the track record. Um, and it would also put the noise house in the statewide conversation going forward about how you do electrical wiring to a historic house and the noise house would be cited as an example of a successful um, and sensitive upgrade. Joe, it sounds like you work for CFW Electric. So <laughs> I guess that you're recommending CFW. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear all that um, extra stuff, Jill. We haven't, uh, well, we have a motion on the floor. We, we'll try. We'll, we'll, we can have a discussion. I'll finish the motion that you receive electric $22,000 or $15. It was seconded. We're, okay, so we're open for discussion. I was asking for discussion, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, sorry about that. Okay. It's all right. We'll, we'll see who's here. Yeah. Yeah, it's Steve Steve has experience of dealing with historic um, homes. I've dealt with a couple of different historic things for state health renovation. I worked for Lambert and Electric, but I've also rewired of the 10 or 12 800 year old parent house that did not disrupt any of the fall. No. And they're all built differently, so I have experience on how to get the wire for the new one. And I mean, that these people do, but I mean, I'm wired enough old houses. You know, I. How long have you been uh, licensed? Uh, I was in seven years in the United States. I've been on my own. A lot of commercial or residential or both? Uh, I'm probably 75 residential. Jill, you had a comment? Uh, I was just wondering, so um, one of the differences uh, on the bids was that CFW um, added in that we would have to outsource any holes that were drilled into the ceiling on the first floor. And so I just wanted to clarify that we would need to add that to the suite bid as well. Any In terms of like working with a plasterer, if we had to drill any little holes in the ceiling or maybe Steve doesn't think we would need to do that. I think I can do it all through the baseboard and fish it. I don't think I'm gonna need to drill holes. Yeah, he doesn't think he has to do that. Okay. All right. Denny. I've been doing that kind of work fourteen plus years and listening to Steve talk. I don't know Steve. I do I don't remember. Uh, I believe that he has what he's talking about is exactly right. I've got a couple of old houses in Marsville. I had to go buy special tools. And a bunch of like roads and lanes because you start pulling all plastic barriers and everything else. One bang, and you go double wall and chat. And just by listening to what he said, he's done. Not like he's always getting into. And you dealt with replacing knob and tube and stuff like that. Yeah. When you do a rewire, all that stuff comes out and all new stuff comes in. And if they're not redoing the walls, you cannot disturb plaster of Paris. You know, lots of plaster. Of course, hair. Um, I had to drill one hole in the ceiling. Bob came in and fixed it. And one hole, the hole saw. Of where it was, and Todd made it look like it was never there, but it's extension. So you don't want to put it over. But I mean, to me, just listening to him, I've never 
come down and Jesus murder and none of the disciples have an apple, but we always get him to be going to this with idol. Right. And like he said, yes, he doesn't have the credit from the state, but not everybody needs to work. There's a picture to take. I've done some old world houses in my country. There probably many of them are full of spiders. I know I did it. And also, just saying, they were long as your name's Robert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, Richard. <laughs> you know, and with him actually being here and being able to talk, right. just listen to what he's saying, you know, he has the experience of what he's talking about. Right. Jill, do you hear Denny's comment? Um, I, it was breaking up. I, I, I heard some of it, but not really, but that's all right. Yeah. Well, I like two things. There's two bidders, but they're both local. One's Crossbury, one's Danville. But I really like that uh, Steve's here with us tonight. And um, that makes a difference as far as I'm concerned. You know, it's $25,000 or $23,000. And it's a lot of money. I think if you're going to put a bid like that, you should represent. Yeah, and I will, um, I, I'll give... I will I'll give Steve all the feedback from the state and then actually a nationwide experts I consulted with as well and um, ask that if he gets into a sticky place he consults with the state architectural historian before moving forward. Yeah, he's, yeah that's not an issue. He has no problem doing that. Okay. Is on the same motion. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Thank you, Jill, for your comments, and uh, thanks, Steve, for coming tonight. Thank thanks, Penny. Thank you, Jim. I've dealt with the historical society for a while. They are a very much fuzzy group. <laughs> thanks, Jill. All right. Next, approved errors and omissions. This, the first one, please, is um, just salt panels that were added. They didn't have a pattern, so it's added to the panel. So that's a plus for everything. The North Country Ammo League, one of those things that they used to try to work out, which they were a non prop or not. So um, it's just one of those things that they should have been off when they did the grant list, and now they, they fixed it. Okay. So it's a negative 239 and change? Yes. Um, and the um, city bank that uses personal properties is a, a printer that somehow, I think they, they had them on a different account and they changed the account. So it just wants personal property things. The personal property things go away. It's only 99%. So it, it's, uh, it's one of those things that's more hard to track. Once. One's a difference of plus $752, and the other one's a difference of plus 4019 Okay, do I hear a motion regarding these? I uh, make a motion to accept the errors and missions. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Um, a question on the, the North Country Animal League. I don't understand just my, my life experience with this, I'm sure. It says that currently municipal Figure is 377 and the education is 147.9, and they want to change the 3877 for both. Yes. So why is that a, a negative 239.8? Is that be an increase? And for my reading, that's completely wrong. I, I don't know. That's why I'm asking. So the reason that they both so the education, so the Probably the taxable the, amount is the less. Tax, yeah. So, and, and I think what she's showing you here is this is the change how much the change to and this is different. So going from this to this on the education. Unless you have a mic there. That's my question. Yeah, no, I understand what you're saying now. But it's not less what the taxable amount is. 
No, she's got minus 239. If this is a taxable amount, it just means that the municipal and education tax are based on the same value for the property. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't be a three to seven seven. Yeah, it would be an increase in 239,800 for the property, not a decrease. Right, and I agree with you on that. Yeah, I'm not sure. That maybe just a well, we better pen scratch, but. Um, why don't I just have a why don't we recruit the other ones? We got plenty of time. We have till the end of the year. Okay. To get yeah. You can recruit okay. the other ones and I'll have her take a look at that one again so it's clear. So do I need to modify the motion? Yeah. Yes, please. Do I modify the motion to take out North Country Animal League so it can be reviewed? Okay. So I'm second that. North Country Animal League nonprofit? Yes. Yeah, that's that's the confusion on the nonprofits and, and how they use the property. That's the reason why it took her so long to put this together. The reason why it's so confusing because this is this specific property is for horses um, that that they're rescuing now. They just acquired this property this year, mm -hmm. so there was a lot of questions around it. And she's been back and forth. I know from state of Idaho, a lot trying to straighten this one out. Right, it's Ryder Brook, so isn't it? Ryder Brook. You know, in dogs, one thing, but then you get into horses and other animals, and something different. But she spent a lot of time on this, and I, I just want to make sure that you know, I understand it too, because I don't do these enough to have a real deep understanding of them. Kind of want to bring stuff in, but, um, So she's explained it to me, and I, I know it's, it's the difference between you know, the, the horses someplace in this, in this additional property that they acquired. Okay. All right, so all in favor say aye on the other one. Aye. Uh, Any opposed? So passed. And we'll come back on the, on that North Country Animal League. I'm going to hold off on deciding this one. Because yeah. Because that's just, yeah. Off. Okay. Next, old business. Approved RFP for the town reappraisal. This is a, a RFP that Terry put together. Of your house could go up. You know, um, 
um, you, you wouldn't necessarily need a permit for that. You know, um, if you have it, you're actually your value is going to go down. Fair enough. So it's, it's just what you're saying. And, and I think they're they're looking at the whole subdivision. There's been a lot of new properties built. There's been a lot of subdivisions that have been done in the town lately. I think Gary probably knows that. So there's a lot of things that are going on. If you just look at what's happened in the town in the, the last 12 years, the downtown is in place, the truck route is open, the north end is a new business district now, um, the housing market is completely different than it was 15 years ago. There's been a lot of changes in the town at that point in time. So um, I think it's, it's a progress. There are just some things that they don't think are correct in the grant list. And the only way to get a level of playing field is getting some things to work off of. Okay, so we have a motion, right? Can we start a motion? We don't yeah. have. We do here. This time. We had a motion. I uh, make a motion that we uh, put out a request for proposal for a grant list townwide uh, to 2023 townwide reappraisal. Second. We have a motion and a second. For any further discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion to pass. Yeah, that doesn't say anything about what's coming around the corner, too. There's a lot of new stuff coming. So. I'll tell you, I feel better going into this one. Not that I remember 115 years ago, but the fact we have Terry there, who has her credentials, it helps. Uh, certainly helps. I mean, I'm, I'm not, this is not just working toward past history or anything like that. This is her field. Uh, all the end result of reappraisal is before a certain authority gets to see lots of customers. I'm hoping that Terry there, you know, perhaps the balance would be, would be less than what I just say. What she said. I, I ran into this municipal appraiser and I can't think of his name. I've got his card. I, I was at a, <clears throat> some sort of seminar for home inspectors and gave me his card because he asked, you know, when the last time Morristown had a reappraisal and I said it had been 12 years or 15. And he gave me his card. I'll see if I can get it. Okay. Yeah. Because he said, oh, I'd be interested in doing it. Yeah, I am just specific to us. Terry, Terry does it. She's the appraiser in the state. She has companies in the state. So, I mean, this is not her first go around with it. So, it's, it's going to be a big help. I think it really will <laughs> rebuild that base. And everything that we do here starts with the grant list. Yeah. Anyway, some Jericho or Underhill or something. I'll find it. All right. Next, approve the warrant. Make a motion to approve the warrant. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. TA report. Two things I want to keep everybody in the same kind of two things. Action 50. Looks like now they're tentatively scheduling a site walk for August 15th. I think it was 5 p.m. Something like that. Once I get it confirmed, I'll put it out in the email everybody. The site walk. Realistically, they're not supposed to make any evidence at a sidewalk. Um, so things are moving along and things are supposed to like work around and get things moving along. Yeah. Um, so that's tentatively scheduled. The title is told everybody that that will work for us. Um, so we're waiting to hear back from them to see if that'll work or not. And then we'll see when they're actually going to have the hearing after that. So that's a sidewalk, and then, but I don't have a day 20. There's some questions about everybody to, to do the hearing. Will they, will any of the parties um, give up their right to cross examine witnesses? And, and that question hasn't been answered yet because it, it won't be an in person hearing right now by state standards on how they're doing things, which I don't understand because we're allowed to have hearings. We're still working through the process, but things that the long hand is not hearing me think it's broken. Once I get something confirmed, I'll let you know. But it looks like the August 18th, that's a Tuesday, so that there will be hopefully a site walk that evening, as the panel said, um, with the commission. But yeah. um, City of Culver, they started. They started last week. <coughs> um, they put off the delivery of the culverts, which were supposed to happen tomorrow. It's <laughs> not a good idea. They didn't take the old culvert out of the ground yet, which was really a good idea because. Rain coming in right now. You know, Chris Burnett probably was not real happy because there's no way that the pumps actually have to pump to keep the water going through. There's no way the pumps could have kept up with that much rain. So pushing it off right now is a great idea. It probably help save us a lot of money and time a little later. So um, those are the two big things going on around right now. So if there any money goes on, I'll be fine. So hopefully we get some of this stuff done and take care of it. 
would we probably meet at the gravel pit? Yes. Yeah. Any questions for Dan? Thanks, Dan. Select board concerns. Gary? No, nothing. Judy? No, nothing. Brian? No, what's that? Eric? No. <laughs> and I just had um, at one of the last meetings I mentioned to Kevin, I think, about <clears throat> clearing the line of sight on uh, Washington Highway where the S turns are there. And I appreciate you guys doing that. It's cut back quite a bit. I actually stopped and talked to Gary Greaves the next day. And um, he said, oh, yeah, he said they trimmed it back quite a bit, but he said they could cut it back a lot more. He goes, cut every tree. He goes, that's dangerous there. And he, I, I shared with him the, the, my thoughts because I saw two people walking and almost got hit, you know, and it's a dangerous spot, you know. And, uh, but he said, cut as much as you want. So that's good to hear. But it looks much better. You can really see a lot further than you could before. And, um, but he's definitely not um, inclined to agree with increasing the speed limit. He said that he really thinks that they go 40 there now anyway, even though it's close to 25. And he thinks that keep it right where it is. So that was just the feedback I got from him. So it does, it's much better. I go there every day and it just made a big difference. So that's all I had. Any other business? No. Of course, Danny. You have the floor. I want to apologize to Judy personally because I know June fire report to not make it to the news and citizen. And I know you, you I know you're one of the ones that look at it. I don't look at it. I actually was able to look up the interview today. Thursday I'm gonna meet up, we're gonna do June and July. So I had to stop. Just when he texted me, Sean had the report that he was putting them in the his computer for us. And they're back to the station and let you know we're going to continue. Oh, thank you. But I know you had made a comment in the past that it was like, oh, I don't want her to do I did. You guys get any calls? Well, it's my fault. I didn't notice that they weren't there. So that's all I had. I'll give him your number, Denny. Thank you. So they will be back here. We can give you. Okay, thank you. We still love you, Denny. Somebody. Denny, you train once a week still? Huh? You train once a week? No. How often do you guys train? Once a week. Not during the summer. Okay. <laughs> Take the summer off. Let's talk back to the meeting. I want to talk to you about posting what you train for as far as uh, recruiting. Uh, what you do for training, how you do it, that kind of stuff. Sure. We have any evidence for a night. Can be added to uh, to a report and use a solution along your, your activity report, something that can generate some interest. Yeah, we had three applications last month for that one meeting. So far, one. Got a so far, we picked up one new probing. They can be accepted by us, but until they get that physical, they're still just a name on a piece of paper. But I did sign off, and right now, uh, Jake Wilson is our newest probing. That's correct, right, Sonia. And you would have two others, a little older, and yeah, and one actually works for the state forensics, and the other one works for Comcast. He's a little older with a little more experience, but uh, we're slowly getting. Um, but yeah, once July hits, we're done training until September. So. It's kind of a nice time to get for these new people because we get them October, November. They've already missed, you know, six six weeks anyway. Yeah. You know, they come in November, but we have kind of gone back. Time. We've gone back to monthly meeting every Tuesday, first Tuesday of the month. 
Uh, most of the training for the fire service happens in the winter months anyway, right? Yeah. Pretty much. We'll start again in September. As far as level one goes, level one fire. Level one state, and there's no real classes in the area. I mean, I get a, I get a list from uh, Jessica at the state fire academy. There's some challenges. And they're trying to set them up, but we they go through the mutual aid. The mutual aid will apply for a level one's class in Memorial, but there's a requirement on how many people they have to have for the state will approve it. So that's that's all state level. What we require is a 45 hour course. It starts the first Wednesday night in February, and that is. Uh, Local people teaching, no state involvement. It's not a pass or fail, it's a show up or don't show up. But it's all it's all free. The instructors are free. We as a committee is free. Mike's on it, I'm on it. Uh, we charge each department like 30, 35 bucks per student. So on a Friday, a Saturday, it's training, they have lunch, they provide it for the students. They get an old book, a binder, they keep all the material. And that I require. Because the chiefs will get a check sheet if you're two person attended this, 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 this. And I know all the instructors, we know all the instructors. And there's guys with many years, you know, do certain things and it's totaled down to 45 years. That's what the state used to do. Because the state right now is working on a 50, 55 hour level one program for each one. Because they're finding out what we've been acting with them for a few years that you ask somebody that's new, and you're going to set them to a 215 hour class. That's level one. And by the time the class is done, they ain't remembered what they took the first one. So then the biggest argument is let's go back to the 45, 72, whatever. You can have a requirement that they need to be on a department for five years before they take level one so they can grasp what they're talking about. They won't forget. But that's all state level. Fire service across the state. So, but yeah, that's what we require. And I can talk to Andrew Thursday night. I mean, the, probably around four. If you work it. Which night? Thursday. No, I'm not working. I'm well, I'll okay. give you a jingle if you want to meet us at the station. Or tomorrow night at five thirty, there's an officer meeting because we have our monthly. You want to stop by at the office meeting, seven line office. All I was looking to do then is just uh, ask if it's worthwhile when you submit your monthly report, the activity reports to the new citizen, is if you say this month's training is going to yeah, be. Yeah, that will start in September. Yeah, that kind of thing. That way, people that are reading interesting are going to say, oh, that's kind of, that's kind of cool, we're doing that kind of training, not just what you've been to, but what you're training for. There's a ulterior motive here. I, I, we're growing infrastructure wise. We just grew this past month. We, we signed a, a lease from our village highway garage into a new building. Uh, I don't think there's anything immediate right now, but we're growing. The fire department is going to need to grow at some point as far as staff. Uh, oh, I know it. I know. We've talked about this five years. We've, we've laid it around several different times. I've laid it out to the slack board that. May not be now. Ten years ago. Yeah. And we're all saying we're getting older. And it's <laughs> going to be coming where you're going to have a partial full time department. Yeah. Well, I thought that. Just, like you you show what your training is, what the training you have to do is in the face of the newspaper. Then educating the public, basically, ahead of time. Yeah, we can do that. Thank you. Okay. So that's a good idea. Thank you. Thank you. Anything to help us recruit, we'll take more work for ideas. Dang it, but hey, you want one? You want to help me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
<laughs> See, that's the problem with me. Like, if you came with an application and said, okay, so you're going to be a driver. Because of your age and the size. <laughs> I am not politically correct in that interview. I lay it out. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have a hard time believing that, Denny. <laughs> and it's not a personal <laughs> thing. I'm not an interior player. I was being sarcastic. I am too old to help heal. Good. Yeah. I mean, my young guys can take two days to heal after the football structure fire. My interior guy. It's hard. It's work. So. I hurt this reading that I did. My back hurt. That's why I was one of them. Right? It's definitely a young man. But there's all kinds of positions. I would, I would point out, though, that you should always beware of the old man and young man's game. Yeah. Right. That's why I want to point take two questions when I talk to him. Why are you shooting for What do you want to do? All right. It's always about to be a Yeah. All right. Any other business? Bob. Uh, uh, the Lucas CPR device that was approved at the last meeting was delivered last week. Uh, pay staff is already up and running on it. It's on the truck in service. Uh, we've got uh, online training sent out to the rest of the staff. And as we're seeing them, we're getting everybody up to speed on it. But all the pay staff is good to go on it and send service on the truck. Cool. I'd like to see that. Come on by. Yeah. Come on by. So I, after afternoon tomorrow, I won't be in for about a week and a half. But, uh, okay. I'll, I'll stop in and see it. That's cool. Any other business? Go ahead. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? So passed. Thanks. Thanks.